Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's unbelievable how fast time flies. It's December already and we have only a couple days until Christmas. So I thought I would make a video where I show you how you can add some fake snow to your photographs. Because if there's one time of the year when you're completely free to do that, then it's pretty much now and in the coming months. So I want you guys to be prepared for the winter season and I want you guys to be able to take your winter photography game to the next level. So let's jump into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to do just that. All right, so here's the photo that I'm going to be editing and right off the bat there are a few things to note. First of all, the weather. When I took this photo it wasn't actually snowing but it had been raining before so as you can see the concrete is wet. This helps a ton when it comes to selling this effect. So obviously it goes without saying that you need to choose a photo where the snow is going to make at least a sliver of sense. If you choose a bright sunny photo from the Bahamas, you're going to have a tough time selling this effect dude. So don't do that. The other thing is the color grade. Make sure to edit the original raw photo in a way that's going to make it a bit dark and moody. Once again this is crucial for a realistic final result. Plus, it's also gonna make the snow more visible as it will contrast with the dark background. Now that we got this out of the way, here's what's gonna happen and some of you probably already guessed it. We're gonna be using some snow brush preset packs. There's a download link in the description to the one I'm using in this video, so go ahead and download it and then install it and we're good to go. The edit is actually super simple. Create a new layer, let's name it Snow 1 and then choose a snow brush that you like. Generally, when you're adding snow to a photo, there are two routes that you can go. Either you make it very dramatic and punchy, which can look really good, or you make it very subtle, which can also look awesome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a more subtle snow effect, and then you can experiment around with some other brushes for a more dramatic result. So once you made your choice, choose a big brush size, make sure that the color is on white, and then add the snow. I usually decrease the opacity to about 80% to make the snow a little bit more subtle and then depending on the photo I will add a layer mask and mask out some parts of the photo where I don't necessarily want the snow to be visible. Next up I'm gonna create another layer, let's name it Snow 2 and I'm gonna choose a different brush to add some variety to the snow we're creating. Next head up to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And then here the angle depends entirely on your photo, but the distance you want to keep relatively low. I'm going to choose a value around 35 or so. This time I'm going to leave the opacity as is, but I am going to change the blending mode from normal to soft light. Then all that's left is again to create a layer mask and mask out some parts of the snow if needed. And at this point we are pretty much finished. So again, if you want the snow to be a bit more drastic and a bit more punchy, just use a different brush and make sure that you keep the opacity of that brush relatively high. That's it. Uh, other than that, we are completely finished with this effect and the techniques that I showed you in the video will apply across the board. So thanks for watching, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and most importantly of all, follow me on Instagram because that's where you can connect with me the most easily, and also that's where I upload my own photographs, so if you want to see what I'm up to, Instagram is definitely the place to do that. Also, if you do end up using this tutorial on one of your images, definitely tag me on Instagram because I love to see what you guys come up with using my tutorials and that's also a great way for us to connect on that platform as well. So that was it for today and until the next time, peace.